I want to talk to you today about, I want to talk about playing. Hey guys, I hope you all are doing amazing and having a great Tuesday. I want to talk about playing. So in the personal development realm, you know, when, when we're growing, when we're expanding ourselves and we're like pushing some serious limits and boundaries, it can get a little bit tense. It can get a little bit like uncomfortable. And I, and I, and I've used this phrase before, but like sort of like a full time wedgie, like it's just a little bit uncomfortable or a lot uncomfortable, depending on how much you push yourself and how much you really allow yourself to experience the depth of, of your capacity in that process. It can get overwhelming. It can, you can feel like heavy and bogged down, but I want you to just play with it and allow that experience to be your playground. And it's your arena. It's your like, where this life, this human experience is all our playground. Everything that comes into our experience allows us to step up. It allows us to grow. It allows us to become the best, most authentic versions of who we are. If we allow ourselves to dance and play with that pain, with that thing that's challenging us. So rather than saying, oh my gosh, here's another here's another challenge or God, this again, and, and stepping into victim mentality, whether that's in our relationships or our business, allow yourself to say, oh, cool, this is another chance for me to play with my level of my, my limits. This is another chance for me to dance with this, with this pain and this challenge and see what can come out of it. A lot of times when we have a challenge a challenge that comes into our lives, we automatically play like, oh, but what if this happens and what if this happens and what if this happens? And we start to like retract and, and get into our fear and our, 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 our like that fear side of us, that scarcity side of us. But if we can just play with that experience and we can play with that challenge and approach it from like an abundant, powerful place and say, you know, what if this comes and I, and I, you know, there's a side of me that comes out that I, I didn't know I had. There was like a certain power that that's, that gets emulated and it interacts with this challenge and I actually really grow from it. And then I get this result. And if we can just like condition ourselves to be proactive when those challenges come up and like prime our mind to say, you know, we're just playing. We're just seeing how far we can really stretch ourselves because we're like every single person on the planet right now is living under the potential. We have no idea how powerful, incredible we all are. We all are. And even the highest achievers in the entire world, they still have more. They still have more to, to, to give and to grow and to contribute and to become, become better. And allow those challenges to be playful. Allow them to just be, you know, part of your learning experience. Like, approach it with like a curiosity like I wonder what I'm gonna learn from this I wonder you know how much I can grow from this I wonder how painful this is going to be but then I wonder how much access I'll have into my light we cannot experience the lightness without dipping into the darkness so approach it with light love and playfulness and let me know how it goes Mwah. love you all happy Tuesday and we'll see you later all they want is just to stop using food as a drug to numb the emotion that they're feeling in their bodies I grew up as a dancer and an actress. My body